Right, dear people, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you all home with me. Say. <laughs> Good everyone, and welcome once again to Where Am I? Uh, this is my allotment vlog diary type uh, thing, and um, we're going to be doing quite a few different adventures on this channel. So please do um, subscribe, and there's so much to to come. Now, yesterday we were up here and we had the ton of compost delivered, which was Monday, today is now Tuesday. I've come back up and uh, my plan is to, I've got one of these, a sieve, and I thought what I would do is um, sieve the compost that's already in the big planters for the carrots and the parsnips. Um, so I'm going to sieve that today and then I've got some seeds with me and we're going to plant our first. Um, not carrots, but the white ones. What are they called? Parsnips. We're gonna. We're, oh God. Uh, we can edit that out. That's fine. Um, yes, uh, we were gonna plant some parsnips today. Um, so that is that is the plan. So I know I can sow them between February and March. Uh, sorry, between February and May. And uh, today is the uh, one, two, three, four, fifth of April. So I think we should be okay. I mean, we have had. A lot of rain and uh, and uh, quite a big coast cold snap uh, last week. So, but I'm hoping that spring's going to kick off any day soon. Hopefully, touch wood. Um, so yeah, so today I am going to start sieving some of the compost that's in there, uh, bring it up to where it needs to be, and then we're going to get those um, seeds in the ground. Um, and then if we've got some time, um, what I want to do is get some tracks laid out using some pieces of wood ready for um, some some seeds to go into the raised beds. Uh, which will be Thursday. Um, I might be back up uh, tomorrow with the children because uh, they've got some plant pots that they want to plant some bits and pieces so we get some more seeds going. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all going really nicely. It feel, it's starting to feel less like a, a weeded tip and more like a, an allotment garden where you know I'm starting to plan what's going in, when it's going in, um, and also if if we grow anything, um, what I can do with, with the produce. So. It's all very exciting. So like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, because uh, there's so much to come. But first thing today now is, uh, well, I'll take you out and about and show you around the garden, um, and then we'll, we'll crack on and um, we'll get some some sieving underway. Let's, let's go. Here is the plot. As you can see, it's the weather is cloudy. There's a slight breeze. Uh, it's dry, but it is, it's very, it's really quite cold. Um, we'll have a look at the big planters in a moment. Right, down here are the potatoes that we've done, done last time, which are the first of these. Um, there's five, I believe. Um, we did three yesterday and two uh, a couple of weeks ago. And um, and they are Red Duke of York. And um, they're ready to harvest. First of these are ready to harvest 10 to 12 weeks time, uh, which I think is something like, for the ones that we've done yesterday, I think we can harvest them around about the 14th of June. So um, that's brilliant. The two that we've done before were done about two weeks ago, which are at the far end. And um, I don't think there's any growth there still. And I think it's the compost. I think the compost is too old, too rubbish, whatever. Um, so if there's no growth on Monday, um, obviously today being Tuesday, if there's no growth, um, then I'm just gonna bin them and start a game. But this is where I'm gonna have my potatoes all the way down the long part of the uh, polytunnel. I'm gonna call that Potato Alley. So that's that. Um, this all needs sorting out. <clears throat> now, um, the good, the pallets, parts of wood, I'm going to keep. Um, but there is some rotten wood in there, and some old wood in there. Oh, sugar, and some old wood in there as well, which is going at the weekend. And um, my brother's going to. He's a landscape gardener, so he's got some waste that he's going to get rid of. So he's going to get rid of that, and he's also going to get rid of this dumpy bag of weeds that we have as well, which is which is awesome. Um, but one thing I keep noticing every time I come here, ouch, that's not it at all. Here it is. Every time I come here, this this dumpy bag is it's always over like that, um, like something's going into it and going through it. Now I know that they suffer with badgers here and. And deer and whatnot. So I just wonder if, if uh, sugar, I don't want to drop my phone there. <clears throat> I just wonder if we're having a bit of a unwelcome visitor. Um, 
well not unwelcome at the moment, not until I've got the crops in, but but that's going. I still need to get into that compost bin and see what's going on in there. This is where our fruit trees are. Uh, there's five fruit trees. Uh, apple, pear and cherry, I believe. For this blackberry bush, and I think we've got raspberries and blackcurrant as well uh, in this area, but it needs a good, very good sort out. Then we come on to the raised bed bit, where we have five raised beds in a row. We've done the no dig. Uh, in the top, top one, the little one up the top there, with the bits of wood on it. Um, they That's where I've planted the strawberries. Problem is, I planted that and then we had that big code snap. I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, but I am going to put um, a layer of the fresh compost that we got yesterday on it, which is on these other raised beds apart from one. Um, so being blind, you tend to miss things. And I actually missed the whole raised bed. <laughs> And I didn't put any cardboard on it or anything else. So I need to get some cardboard from the shops, possibly today, maybe tomorrow, um, and get that one done. Um, but yes, but quick question. Do you, should I now, like this stuff is lovely, but should I cover this now with um, like a tarpaulin or should I just leave it? Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do I need to cover it before I start seeding it or just leave it to the elements? Um, I really need to fix the fence there. Uh, the chap next door, George, really nice chap. Um, and, uh, you know, nothing against him, but I do need to fence that for my own reasons so I know where I am. And also when the children are here to make sure the children don't go uh, over onto his side. So I need to get that done <clears throat> as well. Let's go for a little walk back up and we'll have a look at what we're doing today. Right, where am I? Here we am. To all the new people that have subscribed, thank you very, very much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, there's so much to come, and I'm going to vlog everything. Uh, basically, start to finish. Well, it's never going to be finished, is it? Um, but, you know, from the start, I'm going to vlog all the ups and downs of allotment life. And we're also going to go on one, other, one or two other um, adventures. Um, and uh, I'm going to show, show you guys how I do it as... Uh, someone that's blind right we should be approaching the bins here we are right so we made these um so for my cousin um because i was told that carrot fly only fly uh 18 inches off the ground so we made these taller than 18 inches so we shouldn't get done by carrot fly oh cool. right oh yes that's where the strawberries were planted in between those pieces of wood um but i've got something that i want to do with this bed which i today's tuesday Thursday I will be up here doing it which should be really really cool so stay tuned for that one or look out for that video now yeah what I'm thinking of doing is um see this is you know I could get more compost in there and I could get more compost in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shovel this into there um so it ho like as a holding pen and then I'm going to sieve it back in there so it's nice and fine um gets out all the roots and weeds or anything else that might have come about um sieve it so it's all nice and fine and then we'll get the seeds in the ground so that is my main job for today So you can see what I've done. I'm not going to camera's okay. Um, so I've shoveled all of that into there. This stuff's quite clumpy. And it's also, it's all right, but it's clumpy where it's wet. Um, and then right down there. Um, <coughs> oh, look at that. I don't know what it's doing in there. Um, it's a lot softer. Okay, maybe that was a bit smart. Uh, <laughs> It's a lot softer with the shovel, so I'm hoping that as they grow down, you know, this is quite deep, as they grow down into this, it will, um, it'll all be okay. So, that's fine, I think. I think that's very, you know, it's not, it's a little clumpy, but it's not, and it is wet as well, remember, but holds the moisture okay. I think this will be okay. I think that'll be all right. 
For all you YouTubers out there, you don't know how long, easy you've got it being able to see what you're doing. <laughs> okay, that's a stupid one. And then, it's a case of just, oh, my back. It's like I'm baking. I've been sieving away, and just look how fine this is. That's lovely, really nice. I don't think there's gonna be uh, any problems growing parsnips in this. So I'm just going to spread it around a bit. Obviously I've got a lot more, a lot more to do. Um, but just lightly leaving it around. Try not to compact it as I do that. But look at this, look at this now. I mean that is, that's wonderful. I really like that. Right, so I have constructed this. Uh, well, when I say constructed, I mean I've just laid down two pieces of wood to rest the, <coughs> excuse me, to rest the sieve on because my arms are killing me, it's done loads. Um, as you can see in here, this one was pretty full, now it's pretty not. So, so yeah, I'm gonna carry on. I kinda wanna take it to this level here, I'm gonna get it to about here, but not too far off. Let's see what to do. back make sure you see what I am doing hopefully and uh, <coughs> excuse me oh. great people sure I need look at that I need to do something about that well I've lost it now oh there that stake is on its own. I don't know if I'm there. I don't know. If, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I need to trip over that all the time. <sighs> so it's several hours later. And look. <sighs> it's filled. But that's as much as I'm going to do anyway. Um, but just look at this. How lovely is that? That is perfect for now growing. Um something in it <laughs> I can't think of what it is what is it oh parsnips so I'm gonna get the parsnips in um yeah I'm gonna do a row of parsnips I'm gonna do one row today and then I'm gonna do another row in about two to three weeks so I've got consistent sowing going on um so you know I, I'll have a harvest and and uh veg um you know throughout the I think probably be harvesting them in in the autumn and through through the winter I believe I'm, I'm I can't remember what the uh, growing period is but I will put it in the description below but what a load of work uh, so you know these came in handy I've got my oh there it is right I did lose that for a second I found it again oh she is yeah um, anyway uh, but that, look at that, doesn't it look good? It's pretty cool. Um, so now it's a case of getting the seeds in the ground. So let's go have a look at the seeds. Eggs. Not eggs in there, cartons of eggs. Got something I want to do with those. I don't know if they're in shot or not. Do 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 do. Seeds. Now. I'm hoping you can see that. Those are the ones that we're sowing. Um, uh, oh, that's a. Oh, did I have them the right, wrong way round? Just in case I had them the wrong way round. There's the seeds that we're sowing. Um, 
which are the um, I know they're white um they're the uh, do you know what it's parsnip and they're white um but that's the name of them they're, they're called white parsnip or, or something like that um what i would do is i would get all the information to this when to sow um i know you can sow them between february and may um i know you can continue to sow them um what i will do is i will find out and i will put it in the description of this video um so yeah let's go and uh get them in the ground right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that there okay and then i'm going to move it over slightly put it there so this would be my first row of plastics I'm just going to go in here. Where are you? Can you see that? I'm going to put it just in here. So this is where I'm going to have my first row of parsnips. Actually, I might go a little bit there. Right. Right in the middle. Just by squeezing my fingers together. Just do a little trench. I'm hoping that that is straight. That should give them plenty of room. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't this lovely compost? Right. Don't know how many seeds we've got here. Sounds like quite a few. I sort of opened it and it still stayed closed. How's that happened? Oh. oh, come on. There we go. Right. There's it. Right, so the seed drink. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> right. These seeds feel I can feel them. Right, these are these are tiny. Goodness gracious. Right, um What we might have to do is just do like a row of them and then thin them out. As they pop up. I think it's something like 28 days, is it? Two, is it two, two weeks or is it four weeks like that before they show? Um, oh, God. oh, 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 there's quite a few in here. Right. That there is a seed. I don't know if, I don't know if you, can, you can see that. It's not as small as I thought. Right, so we're going to do, we've got plenty of room. One there. Right. See if I can do this okay. So I did one there, one here. I think you got us, they've got to be something like 28 centimeters apart. So I'm going to do them a little bit closer. Um, and then I can always thin them out afterwards. This is quite cool. This is very cool. Finally getting some seeds. You know, I think my straight line's a bit wonky. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely wonky. Just gonna put another one there, and I've dropped one. Right, I think 
so that is okay. Shall I do two rows? We've got enough seats for it, haven't we? Let's just gently cover that up. Just by gently moving the soil over them. My first sowing of seeds. Um, at the allotment on my own. It's a great achievement. Oh, I'm well happy. Yeah, my straight line definitely went wonky. Um, oh yeah, then I, then I just. Don't know. Right, what I'm doing is I'm not com I'm not compacting the the the, the compost because. Um, You know, because I want them to do well. But I need, I, I did read that, well, I, I didn't, didn't read, <laughs> um, I did hear that you need some good um, connection with the soil, um, with the soil, uh, for your seeds to grow. Now, they're there, so I think they're about there. So, I might do another row just here. Okay, so we've got a row here, which I wish I've covered. You're probably going, no you haven't, <laughs> you've missed some. Um, and then we've got a row here, um, which I haven't covered yet. Just showing you my, my row. Actually, if I stand up, you'll be able to tell me if it's in a straight line. Um, I think it kind of is. You know, the seeds are here somewhere. And I do know I'm going to have to thin them out. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gently cover them. Like so. And then just gently touch the compost with my knuckles. So it's not firming it, but it's just making sure that there's connection there. Awesome. Let's go and get some whoa water in the watering can for the first time. Way. Now, last time I had the, like tidied up, the watering can was down this end. Oh, he's moving my watering can. Oh, sugar. Oh, no. Sugar. Um, nope, nope. There's O'Malley. Afternoon, O'Malley. Have you seen my watering can, sir? Oh, hang on. Right, I think that's Zachary's. So the option, oh no, that one's Zachary's. So, the options are a bright orange one, my one, hey, we found it. Thank goodness for that, I was a little bit worried I was gonna have to use Natalia's dolphin one. Um, back out we go. Right. So might as well come with me. Beautiful day at the allotment. Can't believe there's no one else here. Just finding my way. This is where this is. Oh, this is, oh hang on, what am I doing? Oh, lost. So there's my allotment. We're about to water them. And there's the tap in front. Now, what I like about this is. There's my gate. There's the tap. Now, sorry, I was just blowing a fly off my hand. Now, what I like about this is it's got a drain pipe thing here, which is white, which is white, and I can see it, uh, which helps guide me. How am I going to do this with one hand? And 
<laughs> yeah, let's put you back. All right, so it's several <laughs> minutes later, um, I filled the watering can up and then I got lost trying to get from the tap somewhere out there. See, from here, I cannot see that tap. Um, I have to get really close to it, um, which is pretty much at the end of my gate. Um, so yeah, I got lost from that tap to my gate. <laughs> so yeah, um, which I thought I would just share with you. Uh, where was I stood? Oh, sorry, where did I put my watering can? I was stood right here. Sugar. Hang on, we've lost the watering can. That's my little dig bed. Oh, what's going on here? Did I step forward? Right, hang on. <laughs> oh, yes! Right. <laughs> it's all fun and games on the allotment today. Okay. Got my watering can. Let's find these raised beds. Where are you? Should be here. You can hear the shed. Maybe I'm not up as far as I thought. Right. <clears throat> here I am. Right, okay. So, yes, here we are. Now, when I use the watering can, I like to use it with the sprout pointing upwards. I think it gives a, a better thing. Sugar. Right, okay. Here we go. Give them a nice drink. <laughs> Is that the right bed, Wayne? There we go. Right, what I'm going to do is just check to make sure that the soil is actually wet and I haven't just... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a nice drink that they've had. Move that one out of the way. Just make sure it's all nice and wet. Yes. Yeah, fine. Absolutely fine. One last little bit. There we go. Might as well water the strawberries with the last little bit. We have had a lot of rain. Oh, how cool is that? How awesome is that? We have got parsnips in the ground. It's all coming together nicely, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's put the, let's put, I know my children and my wife will watch this. Let's put the, watering can back to where it belongs so everybody knows where it is me <clears throat> but yeah um so in here i hope to have tomatoes down this side of the polytunnel where it O'Malley is this side um we're gonna have peppers uh definitely um and uh probably cucumbers as well so yep um I would like something in the back corner where I've just put the watering can. Maybe something like a melon plant or something. Something, something nice. Um, so that'd be that. Let me show you what I'm planning. Obviously, we've got Potato Alley down there. Here. Now, once this is all weeded, and you guys can see this a lot better than me, is there enough room there for my sweet corn? I thought that'd be quite a cool area to have the Goldens sweet corn there here in this raised bed um, will be strawberries and then down there we're gonna have in the other raised beds we're gonna have like onions leeks uh, cauliflower broccolis um, purple sprouts and broccoli so much carrots there parsnips oh that's a good point actually now where's that cage there it is I'm gonna use this to hopefully stop any little thieves getting in to my uh, seeds. So let's put this cage on. Oh, oh I'm just taking out the camera tripod. Still taking out the camera. Right. 
you can go over there. Now it fits in one, so it should fit in the other, because I believe they're the same size. But hopefully, ouch, it's quite sharp actually on the end there. Is that any room up there? Yeah, let's see if we can get him right up there. Oh, idiot. Oh, what? How did that happen? I'll try and rest him on the wood, have I? Huh. Not bad. There we go. What I might bring, actually, is, uh, yeah, that's, that's decent. This is our doing it one handed. There we are. Right. <coughs> now I'm hoping that that will stop the birds getting in. I know they can get in on the end. But what I might do next time I'm up is bring some duct tape and just put on the edges here because that's quite sharp. Um, so obviously, with two young children, I need to be careful. So I might take, just tape up those edges. Uh, but that should protect them and uh, oh, It looks good. I reckon. I mean it feels good. I'm hoping you guys are gonna put in the comments like brilliant job Wayne looks awesome um, Hint hint wink wink nudge nudge <laughs> I'm really happy with that. I'm so happy and I did it on my own um, Yes, the problem that we've got though Look how much I need to do in this one <laughs> Like this is gonna need some serious filling and some serious sieving. Now I took a lot out of here. Um, so I'll probably crack on with that. Uh, if the weather holds out, I'll be up tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, and I've got, I'm up here on Thursday, but I would love to get this one done tomorrow so that I can get the carrots in tomorrow or Thursday. Um, I'm hoping to put some seeds in this raised bed on Thursday as well. Um, yeah, it's all, and I might put some leeks. Would would you guys put leeks and onion seeds in now? With it being the 5th of April. Uh, we're in Devon. Um, but with the weather the way it is. But I think leeks and, and onions can kind of stand up to a bit of a frost. And a cold snap. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below please. That would be awesome. But we've got strawberries. Potatoes. Parsnips. <sighs> I feel so happy. So happy, so cool. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get my stuff together and uh, actually I'll tell you in a sec, let me uh, end this. Right, dear people, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you all home with me. <laughs> take four. Right, dear people, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to mine. <laughs> Sounds like a chat line. Right, take five. Right, dear people, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head off home, and uh, when I get there, I'm going to plant some seeds uh, for strawberry plants and also for some sweet corn as well. So, once I do that again, um, we'll be up mine. <laughs> it's cheesy as hell, wait, come on, it's a joke. Take six. Right, dear people, what we're going to do now. How would you guys like to come back to my place? Right. Thanks, so much. Seriously, man, we... Right, dear people, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back. I'm going to head... Well, I'm crying out loud. Let's just go home. And the shed. Jen is waiting for me at the gate. I've lost all my stuff. Oh, goodness me. There it is. Jen's waiting for me at the gate, but... And I know I'm going to get towed off for taking too long. But just look, guys. Look, that is my parsnip in the ground. I am so happy, so, so happy. So, I don't know, I just feel amazing. Um, such a buzz, so, and I did all of that on my own, which is a big thing, um, I think. So, you know, if I can do it, people, you definitely can. So, you know, what are you waiting for? Get out there and enjoy life. Right, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this, channel where am i oh, right see you later romelli if you haven't subscribed please do so um 
be greatly appreciated. Um, I would love it. Uh, please leave, do leave a comment, let me know what you think. Right, so here we are at home and um, I'm going to sow um, some sweet corn and some strawberries. Um, I'm guessing these are the strawberries because the seeds I can feel inside are tiny um, compared to these ones. Um, all the information of the seeds that we've sown today will be in the description. So the strawberries, the sweet corn and obviously the parsnip that we've done um, up at the allotment plot. Um, I've got my pots ready and I've also got a bag of uh, multi-purpose multi, multi uh, compost. So what I'm going to do is get the compost in the pots first and then we'll get the, uh, the seeds um, in the pots and go from there. Four. Right, so the first ones that I'm going to um, sow are going to be the sweet corns, um, sweet corn seeds, um, and it says about um, sowing these indoors in April. And uh, if you want to sow them straight into the ground outside, then it's best to um, sow them outside in Mar uh, in May. Sorry, um, and when you sow them, you want to be about half a centimeter in uh, to well moistened uh, compost. So this is quite moist. Um, but obviously once all the seeds are in, we will then um, give them a good water in. So, uh, so we've got a... <laughs> no, it's just a rip open. Is it just a rip open, isn't it? Yeah. Are they loose? They're loose. Right, so just half a centimetre in. I'm going to try and get it in the middle of the pot. About there. I'm laughing at my, my scissor action. There we go. There's labels. Thank you. And? Thank you. So I've got my labels here so we know what we've planted in what pot. So uh, I'm doing, I'm going to do six today. Uh, but I will do, I will do more. I'm just going to do six to show what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Hopefully they will come up nice and quickly. Although the weather outside is horrible at the moment. It's, uh, it's coming very cloudy than what it was at the allotment an hour or so ago <coughs> and um, very windy as well but it would be awesome to grow some sweet corn at the allotment it's one of my favorite vegetables <laughs> Thanks. Right, the next one is strawberries. There they are. And again, I'll put the details in the description. Now, the, this one says about sowing them in, indoors between January and March. Uh, we're a little bit late. It's the 5th of October. Uh, well, that was very late. Uh, it's the 5th of. April today um, so a little bit late but not too bad um, and they should come on quite quickly hopefully so and it also says not to make a hoe and put them in but to actually just press them down gently into the compost so that's what we're gonna do They're teeny tiny. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How is someone? 
I can't even. I can't see them, and I can't even feel them. Like that's. I, I think they've had us on. There isn't anything in there. They they sent us an empty packet. I'll tell them you now. Oh my. You find them? That or it's a piece of dust. That's, That's why they say sprinkle it on top. You need to just press it in a touch, but not cover them. Oh, there we go. I only put one in. How did you only put? Don't cover them. Oh right, yeah. Why don't you listen? Right, need to put the tags in. So we know what we're growing in what pots. But we are going to be doing two different types of strawberries at the allotment this year. Um, which would be cool because it'd be quite interesting to find out which what tastes the best, which ones we like the most. Um, or if you can even taste the difference. So, uh, and obviously with these ones, these ones are being sown indoors compared to uh, ones that are sown into the ground straight away. Um, so there we go. So today we have planted uh, strawberries, Sweet corn and parsnip up at the uh, allotment. Um, these are going to stay here with me now, um, indoors in the window sill. Uh, we have a, a south-facing garden, so the back the back window is the best place to put them. Uh, they get watered regularly. Um, I might put a bit of clean film on these to help keep the heat in as well a bit more. Um, it does say to it does recommend to do that. Um, so I'll probably do that with these ones. Um, once Jen's given them a water, I'm not trusted to do any watering because I'll probably end up. You know drown in the sofa or something um and uh but yeah i mean it's great great we've got so many seeds now um some up at the allotment some here and today is tuesday and we've got more seeds hopefully being delivered tomorrow if not thursday so they are being up at the allotment straight in the ground um straight away so yeah absolutely fantastic i'm going to carry on planting a few more seeds for the sweet corn um Probably going to do about nine, but if you think I should do any more, then please do let me know. Uh, leave it in the uh, the uh, comments below. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do give us a like and give us a subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time on Where Am I?